you put a, a low premium on uh, the old wisdom uh, that has propelled mankind uh, in the past, uh, but mainly kept him fixed in, in creation. However, when one listens to you talk, uh, one realizes that you exude a lot of wisdom yourself, uh, especially in your what makes sense statements. And I want to call this some new wisdom uh, within creation, uh, which is also, I like call it a form of power that you weld. Uh, for wisdom and power, I think they go hand in glove. And uh, when you look at uh, the, the, the tenets of uh, the new presentation, you find that uh, uh, you have uh, nobility of character, you have sincerity, you have purity, honor. You also have an impeccability of intent and action, you see. So, uh, what can you say about this uh, seeming contradiction in your rejection of all wisdom and your daily expression of, uh, of wisdom? Then? Okay, that's a good question, Charles. And yes, uh, no, I don't reject any of these things. There's no rejection of anything. It just uh, it is a reference. These things are a good reference, um, just like what I went through uh, with the corporation. It's good reference, and it showed me what not to do for the new nowness. You see, and so uh, instead of new wisdom, because that's kind of like almost taking. Uh, uh, the idea of old wisdom and putting a new, uh, you know, uh, a new paint job on an old car. And so I would replace that again, and this is where people have to figure it out. So uh, the reference material is there, all right? That's what I'm writing. That's what we're talking about. But what I'm referring to is the isness. So you take the is out of wisdom and that becomes the new reality. It's not wisdom anymore. It's isness, and to recognize that. So again, uh, if we just say new wisdom, well, people still cling to the words. You want to utilize the literal self, but you don't want to be continually used by the literal self because it's so very limited. You know, that would be like, yeah, you buy a new car. Okay, but you never get out of it because there's sticky stuff on the seats and you can't get out and the doors lock automatically so you're stuck. And that's what it's like with the literal self. You don't want to be stuck with it. You want to be able to get in and out of it, you see? Yeah. It's interesting. So instead of saying uh, the new wisdom, you would talk about the, the new reality. Isn't it? It describes it the best. Yeah. Learn to recognize what life is. This is us, and it is endless, and that's where your real freedom starts. And it actually gets better than your idea of real freedom. This is the best part. So at the same time, while you're here with this, with these bodies in the physical sense, or on any of the, uh, in any of the realms with your other five bodies here, you know, a step up and be creative. Uh, this is what the boys like. They like to see people creative. That uh, you know, not just telling the world about chemtrails and you know Wi-Fi and all stuff. That's something we do. But be creative in the sense to where, uh, you know, as I've created the projects and whatever, et cetera, step up. Step up at the homeschool, the university, the worldwide educators, uh, et cetera, and the things that we're doing to support these things. We, we create our own reality that references the true reality. That's the best part, you see. And at the same time, you do the other stuff. You grow the little herbs in your garden and you, you, know, you wash your clothes once in a while, but brush your teeth. Those are things you do. 
So yes, this isness takes care of everything, and but it's a, a recognition, and those that really recognize it, they step up and they go, "Wow, you know, I I want to do something," because they're starting to recognize it, and it's really more than real freedom. And so again, these are ideas that we use, uh, because there is no freedom here. It's just implied freedom. You're you're in the prison yard, but that's okay too, because you need to be here. You need to see this. You need to be motivated. Or you stay stuck. It's your it's your decision. And you know, I don't tell people what to do. That's not the idea of what I'm writing. I'm not talking about right or wrong or what to do. Uh, I'm simply showing that people have more options and choices to make better choices. And you decide your life. It's your life. I'm not going to say there's no certain way to do this. Everybody's going to figure out their personal self. And this is what I was going to say before. Everybody's going to figure out their personal self in their own way. So some people may read the five passions of the mind or read what Paul wrote and figure it out that way. Or they'll read something else, Don Quixote or whatever, or watch The Matrix. They'll figure out a lot of it that way. There's many ways to do it. But the end result is through that process of learning to better recognize this personal self and the five bodies up into your real awareness there is the true reality life is, and then you decide when you want to take that step to see more and, and stand real with it.